Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 19. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math Chapter 2. You can go to my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download this workbook. Or if you're in the class, you can just go to our Chapter 2 website. Hey, we got to talk about multiplying and dividing des um, fractions. I'm going to start over in my PDFs on, on page 4. Multiplying fractions. You multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, reduce the fraction. So here it is. What's well, 1 half times 1 fourth? Well, you just take the two top ones, zhup, multiply them. Two bottom ones, zhup, multiply them. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 4 is 8. And you're left with um, 1 divided by 8. Now, can that be reduced anymore? <laughs> no way, because there's a 1 up there. Now let's try a different one. 6 divided by 8 times 2 divided by 12. Well, we simply list and multiply numerators and denominators. We get 12 over 96, and then we have to list our prime factors. So we list them here. Sure enough, we find two twos, both in the top and the bottom, a 3 in the top and the bottom. That means when you're out of prime factors in the numerator, you're left with 1. So then we have 1, 2, 3, 2's. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so we're left with 1, 8. That's multiplying. Dividing. Hey, first you invert the second fraction, and then multiply, and then reduce. You can also think of it as flip. So here it is. 6 divided by 12 divided by 1 half. Well, flip it. Just flip it upside down, Shh, like that. 2 over 1, and then you simply do your multiplying. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 1 is 12. And any number divided by itself is 1. 120 divided by 120 is 1. 43 divided by 43 is 1. Um, tanker oil truck divided by tanker oil truck is 1. So anything divided by itself is 1. You could also do it this way, right? Sometimes you see. Um, division of fractions like this with a bigger bar, but the same thing happens. You invert this one, invert and multiply. Now let's go over to Excel and see. It's uh, very easy in Excel. You just do multiplying or dividing. But I want you to notice a pattern that will always occur. Anytime you're multiplying fractions, multiplying fractions less than 1 will always result in a number less than any of the numbers being multiplied. So. Um, this, by fact that we're multiplying this, it has to be less than the biggest one here, three divided by three divided by four. So let's see if that's true, and that'll always be that pattern will always be true. Um, equals, we could do this times oh, equals that times that times that. Now you know we could have done product here, but once you get about it's above. 3 or cell references or so, and then it's faster to do it the other way. All right, and you get 364s. Well, um, we better make sure that that is formatted correctly. Now, of course, what that would mean is we'd have to list all the prime factors. Now, I've pre-formatted this with the 64 down there, but notice something. There's a 3 there, and we did 64 just a moment ago, and we saw that it's all 2s. So the prime factors of 64 are all 2s. So there is nothing to uh, cancel here at all. So that number is just fine. But I pre-formatted that. Don't get tricked by that. When you're doing some multiplication like this and you want to list it in its lowest terms, you have to break apart all of the prime factors as we saw in earlier videos. Now, uh, let's try dividing over here. Oops. Now, notice I just made a terrible mistake. I had uh, my um, cursor in the middle of a formula and I clicked over here. That inserted a cell reference. I just wrecked my formula. No problem. If you wrecked your formula, hit Escape. Escape. And now I can click over here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, multi uh, divide here. Equals this fraction right here divided by this fraction right there. 2 and 1 fourth. Hey, I pre-formatted that too, but look at this. You better make sure I have 3 slash uh, divided by 4 times because I inverted it, right? I inverted this one. 3 divided by 1. So 3 divided by 4 times, 3 divided by 1. I listed the prime factors here, 3 times 3 in the top, and then 4 times 1 in the bottom. Now, that's I didn't show the prime factors there, but we know that's 2 times 2. So there's nothing to cancel here. 
So if we show this as 9, 4, it would be correct. Let's click in this cell, Control-1. And we're going to, um, I don't see a 9 here, so I'm going to go down to Custom. And then simply do a question mark slash 4. Actually, we did have a, uh, a 4 up here, right there. Ah, oh, but look at that. It shows it as a mixed number. Let's go down to Custom. We know how to get rid of that. That pound sign means show me the integer. So if we get rid of that, you can see it's 9 divided by 4. If you wanted to show it as a mixed number, here's a great trick. You say equals this. That means it'll, it'll be a little form here, but that number will be in the cell. And then I'm going to Control-1. And um, I did the little calculation here. Uh, and to show you that it's 2 and 1 fourth, when you do the division, right? Uh, how many 4's are in 9? Well, there's 2 of them, remainder 1. So it's 2, the remainder over the original denominator. So now I'm going to format this cell, Control-1. Click on um, Fraction. Let's see if we can find a built-in one like this one as quarters. And sure enough, oh, even the first one works just fine. So we click OK. All right, that's a little bit about multiplying and dividing. When we come back, we'll get to uh, start adding and subtracting, where we uh, have to do our lowest common denominator. See you next video.